It is a Denver treasure, yet tonight we are learning about some changes, potential changes at Red Rocks. Of course, it's a majestic place to see a concert, but now there's a debate involving future development. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is live at Red Rocks, and Jason, you are talking about the trees. We are, Mark, and if you've been to Red Rocks pretty much ever, you know about the line of juniper trees on either side of the amphitheater here. But are things better off as they are right now, or would they be better if we poured some concrete here on these planter boxes, put up a railing, and simply moved the trees over to the side, even if that means removed trees? These are juniper trees, and they're actually Rocky Mountain juniper trees that grow naturally out in this environment. They've been here for decades. They were planted here in the uh, late 30s. And almost every historical picture of the amphitheater includes them. The city has told us they don't like these gnarly old trees and they favor a more commercial look. But with time comes change and a city plan that the Friends of Red Rocks group opposes. And that involves not just removing some of the trees, it involves paving over half of these planter boxes and installing railings here. No, we are not ripping out all the trees at Red Rocks. Tad Bowman is the venue director here. This is a, a rehabilitation program uh, to help improve the aesthetics uh, and maintain the current use the way the, box, the planters are being used today. He showed me the plans, concrete pads for viewing, railings to meet building codes, and moving or replacing trees to the outer half. For the pilot program, it's just to look at four of them to see how it works. And if it does this summer, almost all these boxes will look different within just a few years. We don't think it should be developed. We think it should be preserved. It's a national historic landmark. It's time to treat it that way. Now that pilot program is going to mean the removal of two to three of these trees. If that pilot program goes for the rest of the amphitheater, that number could rise. Still to be determined though. Now the city and county of Denver owns and operates the Red Rocks Amphitheater, meaning they can do pretty much whatever they want as long as they get the approval here from the Landmark Preservation Commission. If they do work on that pilot program could start as early as this coming spring. Reporting live tonight at Red Rocks, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Many layers here. Thank you, Jason.